What is happening guys, Jay here and we're back, we have another Attack on Titan review here. This time I'm reviewing Kotobukiya's Art FXJ Statue Mikasa, the renewal package version, meaning this is um, a repackaged version if you will, kind of like the one in Zoids where they are doing a rerun of this um, statue. So this was I think released 6 years ago if I'm not mistaken 7 years ago. It's an old statue but it's getting a rerun and if you're, you're new to Attack on Titan and you missed this, it's a perfect way to get um, some orders coming in. So as you can see this statue right here, uh, it does show the figure um, from the box so if you want to display it without taking it, out, taking it out of the box if you're that kind of collector, this one's perfect for you. But in my opinion this is better... Um, better appreciate it if you uh, take it out of the box of course so that's what we're doing right now I'm gonna unbox this but before that you can see the art style here so as you can see it's basing it off of Mikasa's uh, season 1 um, looks so M Mikasa has changed her looks uh, throughout the, the seasons of Attack on Titan and yeah this one's basing the very first um, look of Mikasa coming from when she was a Survey Corps member at least the uh, Irwin Smith era one and here's the back side as you can see over here very nice art and as you can see uh, the paint quality is gonna be great judging from that alone and then on the other side you have the colossal titan here just peeping out Berthold over there and then there's a sort of note here sh uh, saying that Kurobukiya's art of XJ line is intended for the international audience so there's a sort of English note there anyways let's unbox this so you just uh, pop it off like that and then it, it is packaged securely with this and before anything else I want to show you guys you can actually uh, display Mikasa inside here because there's a nice sort of a background over here of that um, emblem. I think that is Wall, is it Wall Maria, I'm not sure but yeah. As you can see here it's nicely safely secured, it's uh, packaged like any, like most Japanese figures in this sort of sandwich um, plastic seal kind of way. So just take off the tape, pop it all off and now you can see a little bit of parts here. There. So here are the grappling hook wires and then here are the blades, two blades that you attach uh, on Mikasa. And then over here is this really nice uh, base which is essentially like a tree trunk. As you can see there are sort of like slash marks over there. Very nice and then there's a branch there. This is where you're gonna attach Mikasa particularly on the pegs of the tree trunk and also that branch over there. There's a peg over there as you can see. And then you have here Mikasa. The, and you can see she's covered in plastic. It's really nicely packaged. You can pop off her head like this and you'll understand why. It's because you can take off the cape, the Survey Corps cape. As you can see, there's more plastic here and then here's the cape. And then uh, her entire body is covered in this sort of uh, sticky plastic. And then now I'll just want to talk about the, I just want to talk about the face of Mikasa. Look at the face over here, really well detailed. And what's important with any anime figure or statue is that they have to look like the character. And as you can see, this is a great representation of Mikasa's um, expression, uh, sort of her like poker face, cold expression that she had uh, throughout the anime, especially on, on the first seasons of Attack on Titan. And then here is the figure, as you can see, I'll talk about this more later, but you know, just a quick glimpse of it. It just looks amazing the paint job of this thing and also how dynamic it is and then over here we have the manual a very simple manual on how to attach all of it together and I will be doing that right now so as you can see here guys I've attached Mikasa I'll just uh, run through how you attach her basically for the blades it's really simple you just really have to attach the blades on these sort of um, ODM gear as well as the wires you can see there's the wire I don't want to really take this out because it's not it's not advisable to take this out and then put it back in a lot but yeah you just basically attach the wires there and those wires are labeled L and R so don't worry you won't be confused and as you can see there's a sort of like hole on the on Mikasa's 3D maneuver gear or ODM gear there's like a hole there and it really just places itself there really gently like that so it's not meant to be moved around because you can easily take it out yeah it just kind of rests on top there it doesn't really stick inside or glue inside it's just there and that's the same with the other side. So over here, there's another hole there on the 3D maneuver gear. And it also attaches to Mikasa's other hand holding the blade as well, as you can see. So there's the hole there. You just rest it over there. Really simple. And again, these are labeled L and R somewhere. At the very tip of the wire, there's an L and R. So uh, be on the lookout for that so you know which to put it. There's the other blade and the other wire attached right there. 
Alright, now before we proceed any further, I just want to take out Mikasa's head over here. So her head can be easily taken out without much uh, force, as you can see over there. And I'm just going to take it out just so we can appreciate the details better because with the cape on, I think uh, you don't get to see much details compared to it being off. Now, I forgot to show this in my unboxing, but over here you have this small blade that you can just attach to the base to give it a little more um, emphasis that it's a battle, like Mikasa's in the middle of a battle, so that's really cool. And then over here, how you attach Mikasa to the base, basically, you have there's a peg uh, on Mikasa's boots, like over here under her boots, and on her other 3D maneuver gear or ODM gear, there's a peg over here. And what I advise you to do is you just basically take this off first. You can take this off, and the reason for that is because this is fragile and this might actually snap off if you try to uh, put the... Uh, 3D maneuver peg onto that tree branch or uh, on that tree trunk rather over there so as you can see over here that's where the peg is so you just have to put that uh, stuck it in first and it might require some force so be sure to take off this part over here and then then just reattach it like so now once she's firmly uh, placed in there I suggest you just uh, keep it as is don't take her out anymore that's a big reason why I didn't really film it removing it simply because it's gonna be a lot beneficial for the figure in the future. All right, now let's talk about the details and paint quality of this statue. And over here, as you can see, this is the Survey Corps cape. And I just love how dynamic it is. Look at the emblem over there. Also the folds over here. It really shows that Mikasa is in the, in the middle of a fight with how dynamic the sculpt of this thing is. I really, really love it. So that's a good additional touch, especially you can re remove it as well. And then over here, as you can see, Mikasa's uh, uniform is just really, really amazing. Look at the sole of her boots over there. Even that is really well detailed. Also, uh, the shine of her boots in general. Also, her pants. And yes, I'm showing you guys a bit of that butt over there. I mean, this is quite a sexy uh, statue. Quite a sexy pose of Mikasa, if you will. This is as, as high of a fan service as you can get with Mikasa and Attack on Titan, since of course it's not known to be that kind of anime. But yeah, this is quite a very sexy uh, statue if you will but at the same time it's very dynamic it's very action-packed I really really love this uh, this sort of pose by Mikasa over here you can see the jacket and then there's the emblem again of the survey core really really nicely de nice detail there's no imperfections whatsoever when I sort of looked at the paint but if I were to say pinpoint one beautiful aspect about this kit it's definitely this one the ODM gear I mean look at how nicely colored and painted this thing is it looks like it's the real deal only that it was minimized if you will but yeah look at the the gray the silver paints over there how realistic it looks also how the wire just seamlessly fits in there and as you can see over here the sword look at the handle of the sword look at that pattern over there the attention to detail is nuts I mean, look at it. You won't really appreciate this until you really zoom your camera in. Look at all those sort of uh, metallic touches over there. It looks really real. Now, even here, the tree trunk, all that detail, all that black stuff over there, really, really great. Here's more of a zoomed in on the sort of gas canister and the sword holder over here. You can see how just greatly, uh, how just great the paint is. Almost looks like it's not made of plastic. So anyways, here is Mikasa. Now I'm just gonna put back the Survey Corps cape. Now what can I say about this? This is an easy 10 out of 10. Honestly, the only imperfection I saw with Mikasa is that there's a bit of glue marks over here on her jacket. Uh, on her brown jacket. There's a bit of sort of glue marks over there where her arm stretching out uh, attaches to. But otherwise, you know, it's not really that noticeable until you really zoom in. And then, um, when you, if, especially if you take out the cape, but otherwise, this is a 10 out of 10 figure. I just love it. Now, here is Mikasa with the Armored Titan statue, resin statue by Giant Studio. If you guys haven't seen my review and unboxing of this, I highly suggest you check it out. And as you can see, Mikasa stacks up really well. Obviously, it's not up to scale, but uh, together with Reiner over here, it just looks really, really great. And for a figure that costs from Kotobukiya, this thing costs 100 bucks, Mikasa. And then Reiner over here in Giant Studio being a resin statue costs almost uh, 300 bucks. Uh, this is really a worth uh, worthwhile statue to have, especially if you're a big fan of Mikasa and Attack on Titan. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. We will be reviewing Levi Ackerman. He comes out later this year. I think he's going to come out either November or December. We are skipping over Eren simply because Eren's design, you know, you don't really associate Eren much with the Survey Corps. You, ra you rather have him as a Titan. 
Anyways, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe to Omocha Reviews. This is Jay, and thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.